All right. Uh, it's a great case. Uh, Geronimo may have seen this before. I've never seen a case in the United States, but I'm always looking for it. This is a, a bit of an older slide. It's a little washed out. You can see this is we've got muscle and fat down here, a really thick uh, epidermis up here, and then a nodule here of histiocytes and foreign body giant cells. And if we look closely, look at those. You see those little white circles? And they're all perfectly uniform in size, much like blasto, right? But in some areas, if I can find some good areas, they're kind of making uh, chains. Instead of blasto kind of is haphazard, but these guys, see how they're like kind of linked to their neighbor and they kind of often line up and make rows or chains. So they look like a string of pearls or some people say they're like pot beads, like those little toys that babies have that you can snap together. I don't know. I didn't know that's what they were called until I saw that on Twitter like a year or two ago. And I was like, oh, those are pop beads. I, 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 we had them when I was a little kid. Uh, but anyway, I didn't know what they were called. So, um, or brass knuckles, if you're from like a, you know, a tough inner city place, I guess you can call them that. I don't know. Or a gang or something. But we try to be a little bit more pacifistic. So we'll say uh, pearls uh, around here. But this is what? Lobomycosis, right? Or one of my friends from, um, from the Amazon region of Brazil likes to call it lacasiosis because it's lacasia loboid. And he said that normally we name fungi by their genus. And I was like, oh, okay. And it's actually named after the guy, his name is Lobo, who, who uh, discovered this fungi. And if you want to impress your friends at cocktail parties, there's a cool bit of trivia. What kind of animal gets lobomycosis? Dolphins, the pink Amazon river dolphins. Whoa, drop that at your next party and your friends will be super impressed. This might actually explain a lot about my social life. So <laughs> I think it's cool, though. I, I like how lobomycosis looks and, of course, never see it in real life because I live in the United States. And it tends to make a real keloidal nodule. So a lot of times you have keloidal, dense fibrosis and scar in the background um, in addition to the fungal organisms and the uh, granulomatous infiltrates. So that can be a useful clue as well.